Hi there everyone, welcome to another episode of Girl Talk with Watsons. My name is Samantha Purvor and with me is Dr. Marinella Abad. She's the president of the Philippine Society for Reproductive Medicine. It's a subspecialty of the Philippine Obstetrical and Gynecological Society and today we'll be talking about a health condition that affects many women that's called endometriosis. So Doc, can you tell us exactly what is endometriosis? Well Sam, endometriosis is a common gynecologic condition which affects 5 out of 10 women all over the world. What happens is that the lining of the uterus grows in other parts of the body like the intestines, ovaries, and fallopian tube. Oh, I see. And what does this mean for someone who has endometriosis? Okay, Sam, during the normal menstrual cycle, the lining of the uterus is shed out of the body as menstrual blood. But with endometriosis, that tissue lining stays within the body. Oh. At the same time, it swells and it bleeds. That causes the pain of endometriosis. So, is it like menstrual cramps? Not quite. With menstrual cramps, it's normally relieved by home medications, over-the-counter drugs, or rest. But with the pain of endometriosis, also known as dysmenorrhea or killer cramps, this can be severe enough to cause disorientation and inability to move. Ouch! So aside from severe pain, what are the other symptoms? Other symptoms of endometriosis would include increased menstrual blood flow, severe migraine, fatigue, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, pain during and after intercourse, and low back pain. Wow, all right. So does it affect fertility? Yes, endometriosis can affect fertility, especially if the tissues cause scarring in the ovaries and fallopian tube. But it is not impossible to get pregnant. There are so many modalities right now that we can offer our patient like medical management, surgical management, and assisted reproductive techniques such as artificial insemination and in vitro fertilization. So Doc, is there a cure for endometriosis? As of now, Sam, there is no known cure for endometriosis. But like what I said, there are so many medical and surgical modalities that we can offer our patient to help alleviate their symptoms. Thank you, Doc. That was so insightful. Thank you again for watching another episode of Girl Talk with Watsons. My name is Samantha Purvor. Until next time.